Got a really interesting laning setup. They can push effectively with the Serpent Wards. They have really good team fight with Acid Spray, the Spirit Breaker coming in, and the Lena, obviously. For across, for DC across the board, it's it's not bad for them. Yeah, but the, the lanes are kind of weird right now, and they could go a lot of different ways, so it's, it comes down to just oh, what we yeah. expect is oh, going to happen. Oh, Fairy Fire, Searing Chains up in four. They're going to chase AUI down. I don't think they can get either of these kills. Here comes the long-range Shackles coming in. The LSA will fly, hook in trouble, Dragon Slave! First Blood going the way of Yuar, and the Soul Sister will fly next as well. Almost getting the kill on AUI 2000. He will be able to back away with 70 HP. Oh, almost got him. Yeah, it was close. Nobody's suspecting oh. his armor is actually pretty low, so he, he can't deal with that very well. It's really frustrating. He just get a little bit of mana source. So, oh, you're wearing a lot of bonuses. Just done. Searing Chains with the go. Up. Dragon Slave. He actually oh. missed with the Searing oh Chains. Oh my god. Guna Blade comes. And now Yapsor is the next target. I'll say he doesn't have the mana for it. So the right cook will be more than enough. And you will get a double kill. Dyer's who is now attack. owning this mid lane. Lina. Boba has a charge in socks of it. And he doesn't have Brave. He has no TP. And this is going to be more than likely a dead death. Here comes Pi Cap. Great Fire Blast. Maybe not. They'll avoid the kill on Sox. Uh, now there's going to be the unstable Kakashi getting charged up. No more minus armor, but it still does a lot of damage. There's the Shadow Wave. Bulba getting kind of low. There's no Raid Fire Blast. Can he get this kill on the 1437? The slow comes through. And the last oh, stick, the, the Poison Touch will get the kill. But Bulba, he'll get that one. But Sox will get the one on 1437. Bulba will try to find Sox. Shadow Wave's ready to go. Bulba's trying to avoid it as best as possible. He's not. Cat was looking for a Raid Fire Blast. Still might be able to catch him. Uh, he's not fast enough. Yes, wow, that's the longest range Ray Fire Blast I've ever seen on the AUI Kakashi. They're gonna turn this around. The unstable Kakashi, the S-Spray, gets put right down as it's flying through the air, and okay. Alchemist will provide himself another kill. This time on the Visage. It's working pretty good. These Alchemist buffs to the core out have by proxy kind of made support elk a little bit better. You basically have an extra level of acid spray making your early skill points more value. So if you're playing the support role, it's not terrible. It's gonna look good now for a while. We'll work later though. Mason's gonna get caught out. They use the soul assumption. They can't bring him down. He's just using too much more strength. One more right through the Wraith Fire Blast will be able to get the kill. The shackles were not enough. Unstable concoction might fly here from 14 to 37. He does get it off in time, yep, sir, but here's the- He's not that far behind, if at all. Oh, he was in the safe lane. Oh, it's the ult on Puck. Oh, he's so dead. He's he's space shift already. He already used space shift. He's got Dream Coil. He's going to get shackled up. Really good stun usage. They didn't overlap yeah. anything. And the best, the best play about that was that Bulba did his ult. So they really need Hook to get some farm here. And he's still pretty far behind. 2400. He's trying to get up to maybe travel or something. Meanwhile, up charge up top. Yep, he's going to get caught. And that waveform will do more than enough damage to obliterate him off the face of the planet. They're gonna catch up, Mason, but he's gonna go ahead and strength morph. The shockwave will come through and do some damage, but not nearly enough. The eighth lens has been picked up as predicted. For the Lena down bottom, a fight breaking out. Dream Quill goes through, they'll break it. Bulba might get caught. There's the sound soul assumption. Last right click to grab the kill for Bambo. They're gonna chase further for 1437. Hook will jump in. He's got the searing chains. This is gonna be a TP out, but no way. Soul assumption will clean him up. He will not make it alive. It's tanking and push lineup. Um, but I, I think Mama's voice can take the fight wins. If they just get really farmed on Ember Spirit and on the Rating and they initiate first and they can take wins. Oh gonna... god, that weave's doing some work. Look at the Shadow Wave! Holy crap, they destroy him! And no replicate up for Mason. Another bottom. death to his name and now down bottom on Simpson Goxon. I got, he's got his, uh, reincarnation ready at the go, but... He's not losing that much HP. He finally will go down and slow 1437 and the process. That reincarnation going off was maybe the worst thing that could have happened. Siri Chains will fly and Hook will get a double kill. Maybe he could have lived had he uh, re had re reincarnation not gone, but... Uh. I think this will be an Aegis going to somebody, maybe Ember Spirit. They're gonna see an A. Uh, 1437 is gonna get Siri Chains. There's the Ray still coming in. He just gets destroyed oh. with Medallion. The right click and of course the Soul Assumption coming out. Yeah, that, that was very ambitious by 1437. It's a little bit unsafe to do that. If they have a ward outside, and they probably will, they're just gonna kill you, and then you die, and boom, you accomplish nothing, and you guarantee the team fight, you know? It's a, it's a big loss to 575. It's a little bit harder to land on people. Yeah. They might yeah. go for this kill, but it's just gonna be so hard. They can even see you are here. Okay. Oh, Bambo is going to go ahead and face shift, jump away. The Nether Strike gets fogged, does it? They actually get vision of it somehow. The waveform comes through, and Bobo will grab the kill. Meanwhile, top lane, they're going to try to find Pike. Well. Good blade, he gets graved up. He's got the reincarnation. You are. Great fire oh, flash so will fly. Close. This could be a huge kill if they get it, and they will. So will Assumption, and Pycat gets the killing spree, and he's down close to They'll TP mid, get some farm for himself, and... Mama's boys are looking to come back in. They're going to about find AUI's dozen as Pycat blinks in, will find AUI. 
It hexed up, but AY should still fall to the poison top here. Pycat will get the last hit to get the kill with the uh, against for going his way. Are these items? Uh, Mjolnir. Full Mjolnir. Might as well finish the item if he's most of the way here. Makes sense here. Green Coil, top AY lane. Nine. AY in trouble. The birds will finish him off. Easy kill. Nicely done. Eh? That was a nice gank by uh, Bambo. Cool. You can just kill him very easily in that way. You can maybe do like a couple right clicks and an ult and he just dies. So eggs might be very useful for that. And it's all, all as well just general HP and survivability that you'll get. That'll protect him slightly against right King. Yeah. Meanwhile, bottom lane. Steering chains will go. Mason does a, He's got to replicate. He will use it and get out of that bottom lane. Tier 1 tower is finally being taken by Mama's voice in that mid lane. This tier 1 is about to fall. They can try to bounce the defense here. They have the blink dagger with unstable concoction. They're going to charge it up. They're going to jump forward. They hit it on it too. The Astro and Sox, the charge is coming through as well. Now there's going to be the troops coming in as well. Can they get out alive? Bambo will be there. Pycat about to lose his life. He will get the tower kill, but still. really good for DC. Yeah, DC are looking to turn this thing at the LSA. Pycat, Laguna Blade, now the strike comes through as well. A big orb. Well, they have Hook coming through the battle fury going to work. He'll grab a double kill. Three dead on DC's side. And now Mason has to get out. He's got his way for him. He actually dodged the solar subjection. Zero chains will fly through. He's out of mana. He'll pop a mangoid. The stick charge is coming through. They lose four. Can they lose all five here? Good adaptive strike. Stops him in their trap. But the Dagon solar subjection. Double kill for Yapsor. And how did that turn so poorly for digital? Good for all. He's like, I'm the only one on the map. They're gonna gank me. Boom. TP's out. He's getting back ganked. Yules would take off the blend guard. There's the LC. He does get into it. Laguna blade and see a lighter hook. That was. Uh, he could have played that a bit better. Meanwhile, Bambo just goes across. To get some help with Bambo here. Maybe. We'll see. Everyone's kind of rotating down towards this bottom line. You can see the charges in. Soxa gonna get blinked on a simple concoction. Can he get the grave off? Absolutely not. That's not great. A mistake from Pike or from Bamble there. He didn't get a silence off. I think he his blink got ridiculous in terms of right click, but really it's the shock that you're worried about. Yeah, Jumping a, in, a 437 a actually might be in trouble now. There's the Wraith Fire Blast and drop the Mjolnir as well, and he's just going to die instantly as what comes through. Super Wars have been dropped. That was a big misplay from very difficult to deal with, but I, I just wonder how different the game would have been if that smoke ink that got revealed from the visage turned into a raking kill. If raking was slightly behind where he was before, it could have made a really big difference in the scope of this game. But there was just so many minutes of inaction after they filled that smoke ink. Well, that bird actually died as it oh, dropped they're gonna to the set ground. Up Coil will go. He'll actually break it. They'll jump in and slide it. Mystery wow. chains. He dies very quickly. And they're going to find AY. Jumping in. Bulba has to be capable with an Ever Strike and a Bambo. He might be a up. They're going to get the Shackles off. He will fall. But what about AY 2000? They get off the shotgun, but not enough damage to take down Hook. He remnants away. They'll lose that. One to Tier 2 tower. Dyer's bottom tower. They're not going to catch him now. Oh, this should be a good one. Most mocked Dyer's reason in Dota. Tower. I would agree with that. And that is, that is late game Wraith King versus a support alchemist, man. Holy crap. The top lane, they're going to try to get this creep wave towards the base. While this is all happening, though, they're going to find 1437. The poison touch actually just misses. He was able to blink away in time. Meanwhile, they're going to find out. Looks like a good dazzle. Wraith could go through. The good blade will bring him down. Now, who puts the shotgun? He avoids it. The ethereal blade projectile will hit him, but it doesn't do any damage. He's got the flame guard up. Bambo in trouble, he'll get just pushed away, and everyone is converging on this area, with the exception of AUI, who is split pushing. The Ewells is going to be up, they'll find 1437, the silence will come through. Slight of this, Searing Chain's not needed, it will go finally, and they will get this kill. Axe Spray gets dropped down as well. On the other side, Pycat, looking for Mason, he used the Abyssal Blade there, but here we go. The Soul Substitute, he's not tanky enough, he's going to fall down for 72 seconds. The right click is there. The solar substitute was there. They dropped the surface wards, but guess what? This is going to get cleared up in AUI. Mike gets solo kills Bambo. No Dagon, but the right click will do the job. The tier 3 tower will take some hits, but other than that, Bambo will be able to get. Well, Dark Siege continues. Three heroes left, but they always have to worry about the Wraith King blinking forward. They did use the smoke. I like that, but. Searing Chain will go. This could be Lena in trouble, but he's got to go. They're taking down the range rack. Pycat might just go right towards the melee, or they could just back away. Ah, that works too. He's gonna get hexed up when they fall over. This dragon slave will go. Yeah, Pycat can't, can't be the one they focus on. They do get a great initial concoction onto two, but still, 1437 is gonna take a big bash. The abyssal will come out as well. They get the Yules off to save his life. They can't quite find. Oh, they can with the searing chains. Couldn't find the disable with the familiars. They don't have. Iris all pretty good. Most likely going to be a. Uh, oh BKB. god, Hook. Oh god, Hook. He walks into a shackle, or rather, a hex to the shackle. Not even needed. He's dead for 80 seconds. That's a huge kill. That keeps his game. Almost BKB and Morphling. I think DC is going to be ready to fight. As long as they don't have to worry about 
Searing Chain kills with his initiation. Hobus dead instantly. They just jump in. They dig and five him. They bring him down. They're going to box him with hook. They're going to... Look at the attacks for Cup I can't. They have to clip here. But this Baylor Rex should still fall. It's about to go down. This falls almost instantly. Chopped down like butter. Are you even going to just try to kill the replicate? I mean, uh, they won't be able to bring him down. His Pycat just backs away, so... Nonetheless, that's a very, very good, good, good... If they get that far. Uh, but there's yeah. also a Solar Crest, so it's not a bad oh, idea. God. Both maybe. teams know Roshi's respawn. There's a replicate. Oh, but bottom lane, there's a fight happening. You are popping the BKB. But look at the right oh, side for Pycat. Gets obliterated. Green Girl going to work, but here we go. Pycat might be in trouble. He's got the reincarnation. They've keeping a couple heroes down there. There's the reincarnation going through. Slighted Fist going to work. Mason's kind of low. He'll jump in. Maybe look for a shotgun. He's oh, he's just dead. And gets destroyed by the Abyssal and Dagon. But we'll get Yule's up. Three dead. They've got the buyback of Mason. You are already used it. The last right clicking. Absolutely will get a kill with the soul assumption. Gets a double kill. And suddenly. It hit, it hit the face shift. Oh, oh wow. Really? He dodged it? That's yep. sick. That hurts. And that's he, got he, probably. he like he shot the BKB Lena. Like that's Lena is just not a good hero against Wraith King. It can work, but you just need more disables on your team. They go for tier four three tower top lane. They're gonna head towards that tier four tower. They can buy back on Mason. They might have to. They can also buy back in global. So as soon as fourteen thirty seven is up, they might try to get one last go at this. I would not be surprised if that's the case. They do have the reincarnation back up. The buyback will come through. They'll try to back. Luke is gonna get shackled up as well. He might be in trouble. On Zipic and Coxie will go there to charge him. A good play. They'll bring him down. And now 437. Look at that damage from the familiars, but he will still stay alive as the soul okay. does not do enough. They, they get two us. gems out of it. Oh, they're not done. And they're gonna chase Pycat. He's got his reincarnation, but he's about to fall again. And he doesn't have buyback. Oh, Pycat, one of the very few. The grave will come through. Oh, no detection. Tape, but they have actually the dust coming out. Stock skill will get chased down first, but on the other side, Pycat will try to fight this. But with no BKP, he cannot deal with all the magical damage and the stuns coming their way. And they will pick up four. Tower earlier from Mama's voice, they could have taken Rax and gotten negative, and then this game is just about over. But they will get Roche, they'll get the Aegis from Warplane, they'll get the cheese for these two promises. So that's something that's happening. Yeah, I was wrong about that MKB. The double Daedalus is nasty, were, but That's though. okay. I, I wasn't going to point out. I was also wrong about the butterflies. Bulba just whatever. jumps in. He's going to pop the nether strike. Meanwhile, the Glimmer oh, Kick comes out. No. And, uh, well, they're going to have to fly back on you. As Hook is now going to work. AY. Okay. It's going to be the next. On the other side, Pycat going to work. The reincarnation is done. Bulba will fall next. And now, he's, the Ray Fire Blast. They're going to bring him down as well. Dead for 97. This might be it. Yapsu will get Laguna. You are already brought back. Dagon will go on to 1437, just barely surviving. He's going to get Yules up. Yuar is going to get chased down. He'll Yules up the other enemy, and that is it. GG is called, and Mama's Boys will take this 2-0. See the stack. Kevin has thrown off two other casts in his crew besides Mama. If you can guess which ones by two against the Moodark TV, you can win a kiss from Kevin. Is it Q Slack? Are you one of them? <laughs> I don't even know, man. Like... Probably Shannon. I think I said something to Shannon the other day, and you're like, I'm never casting with you again. They they did a great job killing the the um, Wraith King for his first death, but you know if he, if he gets to initiate and he gets to kill the Lena without her doing anything, which has happened time and time again, it's just a bad position to be in, and that's the power of Wraith King, man. He's got stuns, and you combine them with uh, Abyssal Blade and 